I saw it. Uh, I saw his video. And I've been trying to work out how to stop this. And I think I figured out what he wants. I think he wants me to tell the truth. So here it is. I made a video where I smashed a ukulele. Fuck you for not watching this. Fuck everyone for not watching this. And if I'm honest, all the anger and frustration that came out was to do with the fact that I wasn't getting as many views and subscribers as I thought I would. Loads of people have commented on that video now, but no one has ever mentioned what I say at the end. Fuck you for not watching this. Fuck everyone for not watching this. People were watching at the time, but not many. Like, not enough. And it's still not enough. The first time I commented on my own videos as Pigman, it was to fake support. Um, that was what I needed back then. I didn't necessarily need the numbers. I just wanted someone to understand me. And if no one was going to volunteer, then I was gonna do it myself. There was no grand plan, really. Like, I'd had a few drinks and I was feeling sorry for myself. So I decided to do something about it. And it kind of worked. So much so that in my next video, I referred to the kind person that made me feel better, knowing full well I was talking about myself. I need to say thank you to someone very special. Um, last week, this person went out of their way to make me feel better. He must have reposted my links about a hundred times. He liked them all and commented on them. He defended me against people who were being mean. He was just great. It did help. It just wasn't enough. I had an idea. I had this fucked up idea that being a victim would be great for views. Because in reality it is. Videos about anxiety or depression or abuse. Like they always do better than stupid lists or tags or challenges. Look at every popular YouTuber's video feed and you will see that every now and again there is a strategically placed confessional video talking about some bad shit they've been through and they'll always get double the views. That's why I made up all that stuff about insomnia. I've suffered with insomnia for as long as I can remember. I don't have insomnia. I just like staying up late. But I needed more than that. So I used Pigman again. I pretended he'd been hacked and suddenly he's leaving hateful comments and attacking me on Twitter. So I had some comments on the last few videos uh, from someone I'm not going to name. Uh, you can go back and look. I'm not going to delete them. Um, that same person has been contacting me on Twitter and on my blog. And then his account gets shut down like in real life. And the irony is that I didn't even report him. It kind of didn't matter because it just added to the mythology of it all. But the problem was I couldn't access his accounts anymore. I couldn't even get into his emails. And at that point I decided it was for the best. And then I saw the videos. At first I thought it was someone who was in on the joke. I thought he hacked into his account and tried to beat me at my own game. I didn't really look into it properly. Like, I didn't even notice that their first video predates my first one by a good few months. And I know that's not even possible, but it's there. And I know there's loads of weird and creepy people online and I've had my fair share of encounters. So it didn't really seem out of place. I played along. I even made a video and got people to go to his channel and support him, hoping that would make him go away. So here's what I want everyone to do. Go over to his YouTube channel. I've put the link in the description. So head over there, hit subscribe, uh, put loads of nice comments on his videos and let's give this guy an internet hug. But it didn't. And that's when I started wondering about that guy outside my flat. There he is. <sighs> I think I always knew it was him. I mean, I wanted to pretend it wasn't because it couldn't be. Pigman doesn't exist. He doesn't exist because I made him up. And I didn't have to face up to that reality until that night at the pub. It was the same guy. I saw him walk past the window. I would recognise that walk anywhere. And he stopped, he turned, and he looked right at me. He uploaded another video afterwards, and I hate to say it, but Jack was right. That is someone filming me walking down the road, walking to your house. What? No, that is not. a comment. Where that is a comment. That? It's a comment on one of the videos with me in it. It was him in the video. 
And then you saw that video that he filmed outside the pub. There's the connection. The guy outside my flat is the same guy uploading those videos. He is Pigman, whatever the fuck that means. You still with me? Because this is the crazy part. And I mean really fucking crazy, but I can't stop thinking about it. So it's something that Nazimova said about how ghosts can be brought to life by people believing in them. It's the Philip Ellsford experiment. He's not there. He's not a real person. And yet he's being contacted. He's being sent messages. He's, people are attempting to contact with this figure of their own making. A tulpa is given power by the collective belief. The more people that get in touch with Philip's ghost or online fake profile, the more powerful it becomes. I think that's what he is. I think he's a fake profile that's been brought to life because I've shared him with people watching my channel and they believed in him. I presented him as a real person and I made you believe he was real. I even sent you to his videos and I think all that attention has brought him out. Look, I know how this sounds, but just go back and watch that Nazimova video and it all makes sense. We even talked about the possibility of this happening because if I'm honest, I even started to suspect it back then. I'm aware that I'm crying wolf right now. And you have no reason to believe anything I say anymore, but I swear to you this is happening. And if you don't believe me, go back to that footage of me leaving the pub. That fear is real. Pigman is real and, and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to follow him.